Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the last week's developments in the world of Monster Tamer. Now, this week we have a few updates, something involving metabots in particular that I think is really cool, which I'll get to in a bit. We've got the release of creatures of Ava and more. So as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, subscribe for more Monster Taming content and let's dive in. Okay, so first of all, if you don't know by now, Creatures of Ava, a monster-saving open-world exploration game, has released on Steam and Game Pass with mostly positive reception. That being said, we can't really be sure about how many people are playing it on Game Pass. However, on Steam, the game doesn't seem to be selling horribly, but also definitely would fit under the category of a more hidden gem type game, I guess you could say. So if it is something that interests you, make sure to check it out linked below. I think that graphically the game looks really cool, but where a lot of people kind of aren't wanting to play it seems to be the lack of a proper combat system so I think that's unfortunate because the game does look really good. The Beastie Ball developers have confirmed that there will be a new playtest spanning from August 12th until the 19th. That will bring forth a new area of the game for you to explore. I will leave a link to their tweet where they talk about this below. But if you are someone who doesn't know about Beastie Ball, it's basically a sports-themed monster taming RPG, which actually plays really well. I will also leave a link to a video of us playing the initial demo, so make sure to check that out too. Okay, so this is really interesting, and I didn't even know this was a thing. However, there has been a fan translation for the game titled Metarot 3, which is also the original name for Metabots and that franchise, which I'm sure you guys are well aware of since it was quite popular in the early 2000s. That being said, and I know I'm linking a lot of stuff today, but I will leave a link to the tweet where you can check out the game for yourself and finally experience it in English for the first time. I really love that the community is able to do stuff like this and give us access to games that never released in the West, so kudos to them for that, and special thanks to my buddy Cirque for bringing this to my attention because I had no idea about this and wouldn't have if not for him. Okay, next up we got the rapid fire news for the updates that don't require lengthy explanations. First of all, we've got a new patch for Power World. Feel free to pause the video, it's mostly just quality of life and bug fixes. We also got some new information regarding the differences between Dragon Spirits and Dragon Spirits 2. Again, pause if needed. We got confirmation that Ova Magica is now Steam Deck verified. They added a new area to Yowling Mythical Journey that allows you to change difficulty settings. We got a new Nexamon for Nexamon 3, some Nature Zokai for Zokai. And finally, last but not least, we got some game-themed wall decor coming to Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. And there you go, guys. Another week comes to a close. And honestly, I'm super excited to check out the Metabots translation. And I'm hoping to have a video about it this week. But other than that, I just wanted to once again say that I appreciate all of you who stay tuned for my videos. And of course, to the supporters who help make these videos possible. Extra thanks to Jim Hamilton, Drogost, Candy Morency, and Tragsoft. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.